Well, guess what? Cinco de Mayo is Thursday, and we are getting you ready early with Chef Adrian in studio this morning. Good morning. Welcome to San Antonio Living. Thank you so much. Yes. It's finally good to be here. I'm so glad in you're person. here. Yes, I know. If you guys have been watching us on San Antonio Living during the pandemic, you sent us great videos Thank from you. your home featuring your dog also. Oh, yes, Gordita. <laughs> Gordita is the best. But I am so happy that you're in studio this morning, and we're celebrating early, and you're talking about my most favorite thing. I mean, wine is my most favorite. My second favorite thing, cheese. Mm -hmm. Cheese and queso. Yep, yep, yep. I think that's everyone. So, you know, people are very passionate about their queso. It's yeah, like guacamole, chili, or gumbo. They're very adamant about having the best recipe. Absolutely. So, I mean, I lost a few followers. We have this big argument over oh, cheese. Oh, no. There was a whole thing, we know. It was a joke, but everyone's super passionate about their Tex-Mex and their cheese. So I thought we could kind of step outside the box today and okay. do some alternate recipes with them. Okay, so I like have, that. We have previous queso that we're used to with sure. you know, maybe a little bit of pico de gallo on it. Today we're going to do gouda. It's a little bit more smoky. So I've got bacon to, uh, to pair with the gouda. We're going to melt those down together and we're going to okay. chop the bacon up. We're going to add a spinach and a little bit of um, corn as well. Ooh. So it's going to be have that smoke. The bacon and the gouda really complement each other. That sounds so delicious. And I like that. Then, even a splash of Worcestershire sauce will go in there. So it has okay. even more smokiness to that. So that'll come out. I think that's like a, like a man dip, if you will. It's got that beefy, hearty flavor. Okay. A lot of those good barbecue flavors. I like uh, that. Queso fundido is a good classic one. I went old school with this one. So I've got some mescon chorizo browned in the skillet here. Added some pico de gallo. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll crank the oven up to 350 and then I've got some poblanos here as well. You can do jalapenos if you want. Okay. And a little bit of fresh garlic. And I bought a mocajete for the first time in my life. My grandmother always used one. And, you know, they say the minerals from the rock uh, infuse the flavor of the food. So it makes it that much better. So you should always ground your things in the mocajete like so. I like that. And Plus you can, heavy. like, get some anger out with your mocajete. For sure. Right? You can yes? lose some weight with this thing. It weighs <laughs> a lot. So, yeah, it opens up the garlic. All those good oils come out. That good spice in the garlic as well. <laughs> Look how fast it grinds it up for you, though. It does. Yeah. And I know it, like, releases all of the good stuff yes. and the spices that you're using. Right. So we've got garlic in there, and we'll add that to the pan with yes. the pico, with the poblano. Yes. The flavors are super big in this one, I can Absolutely. tell. And if you want to saute it first, you can. I think fresh is good. It's going to cook down when we put it in the oven anyway. For sure. And I've got Wisconsin cheese over the top. I've got cheddar and white cheddar as well, classic stuff. You know, Wisconsin, they win the most towards best cheese every year. I love Wisconsin. My grandmother used to make her enchiladas with this. Just looking at this reminds me of her so much. Yeah. And I used to stand by the counter and I'd sneak in. She would get so mad. She'd slap my hand like that. So she was a little uh, cheese Nazi there. She didn't like that one. Okay, so. that looks amazing. Okay, let me ask you a quick question about cheese. When you're making your queso yeah. and you want it to melt like really good, is there a trick to that? Well, I think it depends on the cheese. Like some okay. cheese has more moisture, some okay. more dry. Like you got Parmesan, you can't you're gonna melt that and it's gonna be gooey. But if okay. you have like a uh, cojit cotija cheese, something mm -hmm. like the quesadilla cheese, those have a, real, a lot of moisture in them, so they'll melt really well and they're really gooey. So mm -hmm. these are always delicious. Okay, so that would go in the oven for about how long? About 15 minutes, so it's so oh. bubbly and brown on the top. Okay. And you can add all kinds of stuff like tomatoes to the top. Uh, you can add some cilantro, onions if you want to. I'm just picking stuff off the Oh my gosh, that here. is going to be amazing. Yes, and then we'll pop that in and let it fly. So that'll go in there and that'll okay. be done. Okay, that's my queso inspiration for the month right there. <laughs> that looks amazing. And then this is a kind of fun thing. So I was thinking about baked brie, but I thought brie's not really, you know, single to mile related. So I want to keep it in the, the theme. So I got a little bit of um, queso fresco. Okay. And what I'm going to do is brown this corn give it a little golden flavor when you're browning your vegetables let them sit and, and develop flavor that's where all the flavor lies is in that caramelization oh, yeah. so a lot of people want to go and i was just talking to somebody earlier they want to go and stir their food and keep stirring it mm -hmm. we don't let it do its job so let that sugar that's natural sugar come to the surface and brown that's that my art reaction it gives all that flavor so they'll brown that up we'll add in some uh, green chili the skillet as well okay. and then we'll put the um queso fresco over the top of that and pop that in the oven and let that get golden brown over the top of the corn i feel like i might want to have a queso party and mm -hmm. make all your quesos right that's Sounds so good. A little fondue action going on there. Yes. With some yeah. And yeah. then we're serving chicharrones uh, this year for my party. I'm not doing tostadas uh, so much anymore. Smart. Chicharrones are really great. Flavor those up any way you want. Um, you know, uh, blue corn chips, veg vegetable chips are really in right now, that kind of stuff. And of course, you have to have uh, a good cocktail to go with it. Okay, let's talk cocktails because, yes, we're having a lot of cheese. We're going to have to wash it down with something. Right. So we're going to make uh, a cocktail involving Dos Equis? Grapefruit Splash. That's the name of this one. So okay. you know, if you're not a beer drinker, you go to the party and it's single the mile. Everyone's going to be drinking beer majority. Mm -hmm. But you want something a little more sweet, so we're gonna do the Dos Equis. We're gonna add a little bit of agave nectar to the mix here. Okay. Some tequila, uh, a bit of grapefruit juice and lime juice. Thank you so much. Of course. Okay, no just tell me when. What do you, what do you, what do you, so what do you think? Uh, keep going, keep, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. So keep going. That's yeah, more than a little that's bit. That's good. It's, it's before 12. <laughs> right? And then we'll do a little bit of fresh lime juice in there. Okay. Oh, watch out. I'll get you in the eye. Wake you up. Oh, that already sounds really good. It's refreshing. Agave? 
a little special agave. Okay. Yes. And some of the grapefruit juice as well. Okay. And one of these for breakfast. Today. And then we need some Dos Equis. That's right. Okay. I think the bottle opener is right there. There we go. A little extra. And then that's going to be it. If you want to add some salt to the ram, you know, get a little salty and sweet on there as well. All right. And then we'll garnish it with just some grapefruit as well on top. Okay, that looks amazing. Yeah, it's simple. It's fun. It's grapefruit. It makes a great mixer. Like, I love uh, palomas, things like that. If you like that, you'll love this one. Oh, my gosh. That yeah. looks absolutely delicious. I love all this, and I'm so happy you're here. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you've got quite a thing going on. I mean, you have done a lot. I know you are a chef for former President Bush, which is absolutely amazing. What, I mean, if people want to, you know, connect with you, get your recipes, things like that, what's the best way to do it? So, you can uh, reach my Instagram at Chef Adrian TV. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, just Adrian okay. Bettis. Um, uh, CompleteEats.com is my website, the name of my business. We cater, we do boutique events, um, private dinners. Sometimes we'll prep for private clients if uh, we have time, if I okay. have time. Uh, but a lot of boutique style events, um, a night out with the girls for cooking demonstration. Fun. That's always fun. Okay. Uh, to big events like weddings, so call me for anything. I'll say yes to anything. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Okay, and the next time you come, bring Gordita. I will bring with Gordita, yes, <laughs> I will. She'll love that. All right, good deal. Thank you so much. You. And guys, you can find all of the recipes, get some great information when you visit completeeats.com and be sure you're following Chef Adrian on Instagram at Chef Adrian TV. All right.